so in this question we have given a 7 bit hemming code and it is a wrong one we need to find which one is a correct one means we need to find error error occur at which one of this 7 bit 7 bit hemming code has a very particular structure which is something like this we have a parity bit at position bit position 1 parity bit at position number 2 parity bit at position number 4 and other bit are used for message bit like third fifth sixth and seventh position use for message bit now we can easily remember our where we put a parity bit parity all parity bit are put at 2 to the power position means parity bit first is put at 2 to the power 0 position means 2 to the power 0 will be 1 so parity bit 2 will is put a put at 2 to the power 1 position means 2 and parity bit 2 is put at 2 to the power 2 position means 4 now we will see how we going to set our parity bit now parity bit 1 1 is set using message bit 1 message bit 3 and message bit 4 parity bit 2 is set using message bit 1 message bit 3 and message bit 4 parity bit 3 is used is set with use of message bit 2 message bit 3 and message bit 4 now when i am saying we are setting parity bit 1 means parity bit 1 is xor of message bit 1 message bit 2 and message bit 4 and same as parity bit 2 is xor of message bit 1 with message bit 3 and message bit 4 and parity bit 3 is xor of message bit 2 message bit 3 message bit 4 now we will put our value to all this position and we will check which parity bit give us a error and where is the error occur which message bit has a error here i wrote down the hemming code which is given us we have a parity bit one set as now we will check which is the true one so parity bit one is given here is one so we will going to pay for parity bit one we are going to one will be xor with one will be xor with one so this two xor will result in zero and zero will xor with one will be result in one so parity bit one is a true one here now let's check for parity bit two now for parity bit two we will see we are going to xor message bit one with xor with zero with xor with one so we will get this two xor will be result in one will be xor with one so one xor one will be result in zero so our parity bit second should be zero or parity bit second here is given as one so we can say our error will be occur at either message bit one position message bit three position or message bit four position now let's check for parity bit three parity bit three is a xor of one here is with zero with one so one and zero will be result in one xor and one xor zero will be result in one as a answer and we will re, uh, again xor with one here so one xor one will be result in zero so here also we will receiving parity bit three as a so with parity bit three we can determine either message bit three message bit two has error or, or message bit three has a error or message bit four has a error and in with use of parity bit one we determine either message bit one has a error or message bit three has a error or message bit four has a error but if we look for peri with parity bit one which indicate message bit two and message bit four don't have error because parity bit one is a satisfy with is parity bit one is not indicate any error in me from message bit one message bit two and message bit four so we can easily cross out our option for message bit four here and message bit two here so we and also for message bit one from here so we are we have end up with only one message bit error here we 
locate our message bit error it is on message bit 3 it it is received code come as a zero as message bit 3 but it should be as a one so if we if it is a, as a one then all parity bit will be satisfied if if it is a one here so one xor one will be result in zero and zero xor one will be result in one which satisfy our parity bit two and if we set message bit three here as a one so one will be xor with one which will result in zero and zero will xor with one here message bit four which will result in one which satisfy our parity bit three two so our error happen at message bit three means position first second third fourth fifth sixth sixth position we have error and receive code should be all ones all seven are one so our answer for this question is option c